At the world's first virtual reality store in Copenhagen, students can go on a field trips to virtual worlds. They can visit museums and other countries and play games. Let's see what they make of this new technology that experts say will play a large role in our future. Students from the University of Copenhagen are putting high-tech headgear on and exploring what it means to learn in an era reigned by technology. Today we're just putting off all the information on Wikipedia and stuff like that, but nothing, nothing of it is, is actually sticking to your brain. So it's super important to give people the experience of actually working, walking around in the world, interacting to stuff. It could be the Great Wall of China or the space station and stuff like that. But if you really need to learn something about it, you actually need to see it in real life and, and touch it and interact with it. The students taking a digital media course are trying out everything from simple virtual reality experiences to sophisticated games. My favorite thing is, is showing people virtual reality and then when they take off the goggles, it's like, whoa, I forgot that I was, you know, in this space with white walls and with people around me. Like, that, that, that where they realize that they actually forgot, that's my favorite part. Virtual reality headsets are still a relatively new technology. Many students here tried them out for the first time and came face to face with virtual aliens and dinosaurs. I have read about uh, virtual reality before and, um, and I've seen others trying it, but I have never tried it myself. And um, it is a brand new world. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's so weird because you almost forget where you are. The analytics company IHS Market predicts that the use of virtual reality headsets will jump from 4 million in 2015 to 81 million by the end of the decade. With that growth in mind, staff here at Cora Virtual Reality Store are trying to inspire and educate the next generation of virtual reality developers. Their aim is to ensure Denmark plays a role in the fast developing technology. Right now it's super important to, especially for a small country to Denmark, to be upbeat. Our worst uh, case scenario would be like a big uh, foreign company making all the software for teaching children stuff uh, that don't fit with our culture. So we need as a country to, to learn about virtual reality and use it in our education and build our own software so we actually can, can teach people stuff that's mixed with our culture in Denmark. These virtual reality salesmen plan to take advantage of the industry's growth and usher it from this classroom into the home and the workplace.